Right, requests for rig board ins uh, inspiration. This is a bit of timber I had in a van ages ago, about seven foot, just over seven foot long. <laughs> Pardon me. So I reckon it's about eight foot originally. So I cut it down because it's about the length of a top kit. Um, so yeah, we'll start at the top. So you got your piloted that through and then uh, basically just board it out a little bit if you've got like a counter sink bit it's, it's better I have got a counter sink bit but like a sort of a biscuit type bit that'd be better put a bit of glue in there and locked it in with a washer at the bottom so then I've locked in that nut on there so that basically so your stud ain't going nowhere and you sit your spooler line on top there again with another washer Bang. get that down so you pull your line then you're on a spool pulling your line down and you'll do your hook length loop and I've got a rivet in the bottom there with a little notch in so your hook length loop will sit then perfectly on that and then you'll come back here and you'll, you know, you'll adjust that to tighten it and you'll lock it off. See, that ain't going nowhere then. So then you've got seven foot of line on there and then you've got all of these in, importantly there, I messed up the first time. You've done your up length loop, the knot will end there. So then you've got your seven foot of line on here and you can start putting your shot at inch increments. All along there and if you know the type of venues you're fishing say five foot or whatever your rig comes off you know set your rig at five foot then you've shotted your rig up you know you've done it in situ there with pliers or whatever you can do it the same every time you come to this end cut your rig off and put it on a winder uh, any more questions let me know. Sorry about the uh, quality of the video. I'm not as good as my kids with uh, YouTube.